It was disaster day at Florida Atlantic University's Schmidt College of Medicine. That's when first responders take part in mock disaster drills. Our Angela Rosier was here and shows us the importance of this training. Well, these resident physicians here at the FAU College of Medicine are getting a chance to show what they've learned. Right, does anything hurt? I don't want to die! I don't want to die! You're not going to die! What you're looking at right now is a mass casualty drill, which is where FAU physicians training in the specialty of emergency training are learning how to handle a situation where there is an overwhelming number of patients. Tuesday scenarios, a mock car bombing, and mass shooting. Unfortunately, these scenarios, even though they don't happen often, they are things that are happening more and more frequently and have touched our community in the past, and they are things that emergency physicians need to be ready for on a daily basis. <laughs> Christian Pilot is a second-year emergency medicine resident physician. I've never been exposed to this before, but I'm interested to see you know, how it'll be like to be in, in a disaster situation you know, use the training and skills we've had so far. He and several others got a chance to do just that. We caught up with them to see how it was going. So again, you know, the things that we've been learning, you know, the way to triage patients. Um, so, you know, we have a specific protocol that we follow and, you know, going through that, um, definitely a lot of chaos, so. Dozens of actors took part in the mock drill. This is 90-year-old Cy Finkelstein's third time. To see the progression of a first-year student second year student and a third year student. The confidence that they develop, the, the, uh, the knowledge obviously that they develop, but it's marvelous, marvelous to see that progression. In Boca Raton, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.